Okay, so the first thing, obviously, we're going to prime our eyes. And I'm using the NYC Color Compact, and this is the primer. We're just going to add that all over our eyes. So that color sticks on. Make sure you get those sides. I'm now going to be using the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. That way the color is more vibrant. I'm rubbing that in. So for the palette, we're going to be using a Clinique brand, and this is the Color Search Eye Shadow Trio. This is what the colors look like. There is a Pink Slate, Beach Bum, and Coffee Shop. Now what I like about this palette is that it shows exactly how to use it. It comes with a like a little picture of an eye and it has the numbers like one, two, and three. And of course on the palette itself, sorry guys, it's numbered one, two, three. That way for new beginners and people who are not sure of how to start off with and how to apply their makeup, have a hint. So I'm going to be taking number one, which is the base, and applying that all over the lid. And it's just a very, very neutral tone. It's actually the same color almost as my skin, maybe just a little bit lighter. I know you can't really tell on camera because this light is bright, but this is the only lighting that I have where I can show you guys the work. So I'm going to bring it up to the eyebrow bone. And that's that. So next we're going to be taking a angled brush like so and going into that number two which is the contour and the beach bum color and applying it up in our crease and in the corners and just blending that upward whatever's left on your brush. You don't have to use more color. It's just a soft purple. It reminds me a lot of the Wet n Wild purple that I have in one of those compacts. I forgot which one it was. Just going back and forth. And then next, taking that 3 definer, the coffee shop color, the same brush and applying it to our corners and to our crease. This is a really fast, easy tutorial and there's not much to it at all, but I like it because I've been using it every day. It's so fast, so easy. There's not nothing to it. And then taking a shader brush and just blending those colors into each other. Just for a soft, smoky effect. Now I want to make sure that that light color Where's my brush? Is well defined and not so like would fall out. So I'm going to reapply that. Like so. I'm not going to put eyeliner today, but if you want, of course, you know you guys can do that. I'm going to be using for mascara the new Glam Eyes Day Tonight by Rimmel London. This is what it looks like. 
it has two components the length and the volume so if you want more lengthy eyelashes you would use that brush and if you want a more voluminous you would use that brush. It's just the same, it's just two brushes in one almost. I'm experimenting with this. Once I kinda got a feel for it, I will let you guys know. I used it the other day and loved it. I got it like two days ago. I used it the other day and I totally loved it. Then I used it today for this eye and I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. But it does the job so I guess that's what matters. So I'm going to be using the volume side first and just putting it all over. If you want to curl your lashes, you can do that. I, however, am not in the mood to have that piece of metal in my eye. And plus my eyes are pretty curled on their own. You have to be very careful with this because this will get on your skin. And that's a negative. Now I'm just going to go in with my length. And open those babies up. this one came out a lot better than the other one. So I guess it's just a technique how to use these brushes. You have to use the volume first, then the length. Like so. Pretty gorgeous eyelashes you got there. Okay, so on my face, I already applied on from the get the Neutrogena Skin, and Skin Clearing Mineral Powder Foundation. This is a number 16 natural beige. Um, in MAC, it compares to the um, NC42, so that's what I've been using. I l so far, the past couple days, I've been loving it. Um, with the change in the weather, I mean, I know in all the states except for Florida, there's snow on the ground, and Florida right now is like... 70 degrees but it feels like it's 80 so it's kind of like ill weather and nighttime it's cool and I already said this before but yeah that's what it is so I so far like it we'll see um for my blush I'm just going to be adding a little bit of a almost like a rosy color to my cheeks I'm blending that I'm using the Wet n Wild Silk Finish Heather Silk. This is what it looks like. Blend, 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 blend. I've been loving blush lately. Loving it. For my lips, I'm going to be using the MAC Nicki Minaj Pink Friday Lipstick. And just applying that on the lips. Like so. I love this lipstick. If you guys haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. Very pretty. I love this pink. This is like one of the best pinks that is out there. It's a satin finish. I don't use it every day. I'm just going, I'm vowed I'm only going to use it on special occasions. And because I just love it. But for the base of this tutorial, I'm using it. I'm also going to be putting on top of that, um, what color is this? Pink Kiss. It's a NYC, I mean an e.l.f. 
lip gloss. It has a satiny finish. And that's what it looks like. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a wonderful and blessed day. And do something good for somebody. Try that out. It's a new year, new you. You know, figure out ways to help the community. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!